Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Jaded Blossom's May 2022 release is now available. And as you can see, it's a patriotic theme release and I love everything in it. So let me show you everything that's included. I do have links provided in the description box if you are interested in purchasing any of the new items from the release. I will also provide a link for the entire release bundle. If you love everything, this is a great way to save a little bit of money. The first stamp set is called Happy 4th of July. This is not available for individual purchase right now. This is the freebie you will receive if you purchase at least $50 of product over the weekend and while supplies last. The next stamp set is called American Flag. We have the two sentiments, USA and America the Beautiful. There's the outline of the flag, so you could color this, or you could use the two image stamps. We have the area around the stars and also the stripes. Just use some red and blue ink and you have your flag all finished. The next stamp set is the Stars and Stripes Candies. All those teeny little images on the left, those are two individual stamps. And then we also have America, Freedom, we have the Soldier and the Heart Flag. The stamps with the nine images are designed to work with their candy grid die. And I will be showing that later on in the video. The next item is the Kawaii Patriotic Stamp Set and there's also the coordinating outline dies. Lots of fun images. These are perfect if you love to color. And look at all the adorable little faces. So I'll flip this over so you can see the actual size of the images. I will be featuring the pinwheel on one of my cards, although I won't be doing any coloring. Next, we have a fantastic sentiment set. This is called God Bless America. We have the stamp set and also the coordinating outline dies. I love these patriotic sentiments, and there are also two small solid stars you could use. And this set will work for Memorial Day, 4th of July, and also Veterans Day, since it does have the sentiment, thank you for your service. I love making patriotic cards, so I know I will get a lot of use from the stamp and die set. The final item is my favorite. It's the gnome dies. We have the patriotic add-ons. I was so excited when I saw they were releasing a patriotic set. So here are the dies. I've already cut them apart and put them on a magnetic board. And I will add a link in the description box for the magnetic sleeves that I use for the gnome dies. If you haven't seen any of my videos using the gnome dies, here are the two basic sets that you would need to start with. We have the boy gnomes and also the girl gnomes. And there are several other add-on sets available. There's Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, Spring. They recently released a school, a number set, and now we have the patriotic set. The gnome dies are so much fun to use and they are very popular. So let's go ahead and get started with my cards. For card design number one, I'm using the American flag stamp set. I have the outline piece all set up in one of my mini misties. I'll just ink this up using Honeybee Stamps Intense Black Ink. And I do need to ink it up several times to get that nice solid impression. So now I'll set that aside. I have a second mini misty. This one has the stripes, so I already have the placement correct. And I'll ink that up using Catherine Pooler's Rocking Red Ink Color. This is a great stamp set if you do need to make multiples of the same card, although it helps to have several misties. So I'm actually using four different misties for this one card. In the third mini misty, I have the area around the stars, and I use Catherine Pooler's Suede Shoes Ink Color. Once I have my flag image all stamped, I use my trimmer to cut it out. Now I'm using a black marker and just running it along the very outside edge so it has that nice clean black edge finish. For the background of the card, I have some craft cardstock. I splattered it with some white paint and I added that stitch detail using Jaded Blossom's card mat dies. Put some ATG tape on the back and also a little bit of liquid adhesive along that very outside stitched edge and I'll layer it on some dark blue cardstock. And I'll put some ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base, leaving that eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. Almost all of my cards in this video are American Standard A2 size. 
five and a half inches by four and a quarter inches. But I will be making just a couple of slimline cards this time. I'll adhere the American flag using some liquid adhesive. And now I'm pulling out my fourth Misty, and this is the regular size Misty. I already have this sentiment in place. This is America the Beautiful. And I do apologize for being so close to the edge. The regular Misty is quite a bit larger than the mini size. For a finishing touch on the card, I'm adding a couple of small stars. And the small star die is part of the Gnome Patriotic add-on set. Just glue those in place using some liquid adhesive. So there is my finished card, and I did make four using this design. For card design number two, I'm using a card sketch from Mojo Monday. This is number 552. The pattern paper I'll be using for the cards is from Doodlebug Design. This is their Land That I Love collection. I have the 6x6 paper and also the 12x12 petite prints. For the background of the card, I have a blue pattern with some teeny tiny dark blue stars. I'll be layering everything on a dark blue cardstock. I have a couple other patterns as well, a red tone on tone with little tiny hearts and also a blue plaid design. So I'll add the red heart and the blue plaid on the left side of the card and I am following this sketch fairly closely. I'll put my card front onto a card base leaving that eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. For that smaller rectangle, I decided to have the American flag pattern paper with the little heart. Before adhering it in place, I did put some scrap cardstock on the very right side just to keep everything nice and level. Now instead of the one banner that's indicated on the sketch, I decided to add two. So I have one in red cardstock and one in that same dark blue cardstock. Just cut a fishtail on the right side and I'll layer those two pieces together using some liquid adhesive. Then before attaching the banners, I will put some scrap cardstock on the very right side where it goes off of the flag paper. And I will need to add two pieces of cardstock to keep it at the same level. Put some liquid adhesive on the back and adhere those little scrap pieces. Then I can attach my banners to the card. For the sentiment on the card, I've already stamped and cut this out. This is God Bless America. Using the same outline die, I cut out a second piece from some blue satin mirror cardstock. Then I glued those two together, just offsetting it slightly. So you can see just that little drop shadow of the satin cardstock underneath the sentiment. I will be popping this up using some foam dimension, and then I'll adhere it to the left of the banners. For a final finishing touch, I'm adding some red bling in the upper right hand corner. So there is my finished card and I did make four using this design. Every year I bring 4th of July cards to the residents at a local retirement home. I usually need around 60 to 80 cards. I don't have all of them finished after this video, but I have a really good start. For card design number three, I'm using this fun pattern paper for the background. It has really thin lines of red, blue, and also teal. I'm adding several star banners in red, white, and blue, and the star banners are from Jaded Blossom's banner die set. For now, I do have the extra stars going off the edge of the paper, but I'm only adding liquid adhesive on the six stars that will be on the paper. I'm gluing them down randomly, changing the angle, just for a fun design in the background. The banner die set also includes individual stars with that stitch detail, but I decided just to go with the plain banner. I'll flip over this panel, use my scissors to trim off the extra. Then I'll put some ATG tape on the back and adhere this piece on some dark blue cardstock. Put my card front onto a card base, leaving that eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. Generally for my cardstock layers, I add an additional eighth of an inch. So that background pattern paper is four inches by five and a quarter inches, and the blue cardstock layer is four and one eighth by five and three eighths. Next I'll add a stitched oval die cut. I use some more of the petite prints, so I have a tone on tone blue polka dot paper. Just for some extra stability, I cut out a second oval and just glued those two pieces together. 
Now I'll be adding one of the little gnomes and I decided to make one of the girls. Just to save time on this video, I've already assembled most of the gnomes in this video. If you do want to see how to assemble the gnomes, you can always watch one of my previous gnome videos and I will add a link at the end of this video. So this little girl is holding a star and I used some white shimmer cardstock for the star. I popped up the star using some foam dimension then attached her hands. And I'm also popping up the entire gnome using some thin foam dimension. For her hat, I added some tiny little stars and these are Love From Lizzie mini star peel-offs. For a little extra detail on the gnome, I did use a white gel pen. I'll be adding the sentiment Happy Independence Day and I'll layer it on the same dark blue cardstock. Then I'll pop it up using some foam dimension strips. Just adhere it to the upper left hand corner, having it flush on the left side. Then a final finishing touch, I'll add a few red gem stickers. Just putting three of them around this little girl. Here's a look at the mini star peel offs I used. Sometimes when I'm prepping my cards, I get a little carried away. My plan was to add the little stars in this video, but apparently I forgot. So there is my finished card and I did make a total of four. For the other two cards, I use a different pattern paper for the background. For card design number four, I'm using Jaded Blossom's Triangle Card Matte Die. I've already cut out the frame and put some double-sided tape on the back. I used two different pattern papers and cut out all these different triangles, and I'll inlay those into the frame, alternating the two designs. This card features blue and white polka dots and also this fun little firework design with teeny tiny stars. So once I have all of those in place, I just rub them down to make sure everything's laying nice and flat. Remove the release paper and I layer this on the same dark blue cardstock, leaving that eighth of an inch matted border. By having that blue cardstock in the background, if there are any small gaps between the frame and the triangles, you won't be able to see them. Next, I'll add a stitched oval die cut and I use some white shimmer cardstock for that. Here is my sweet little girl gnome. She's got some red glittery wings and also her sun hat. And those are part of the spring die add-on set. In her hand, she's holding one of the fireworks, and I think it's funny that it's lit, so I'm hoping she's going to let go of it very soon. For a little extra detail on the card, I'm adding some Love From Lizzie peel-offs. This is the blue holographic color in the pinstripe style. I'll add two strips underneath the oval, and I'll use my craft knife to trim off the ends. The pinstripe peel-offs include three different widths, and I'm using the widest width for both of the pieces. Now I'll set my card aside so I can stamp out the sentiment. I'm using the Stars and Stripes Candy Stamp Set. So I have it loaded up in a Misty. I'm using Catherine Pooler's Suede Shoes Ink Color. and stamping all of those nine images and sentiments on some light blue cardstock. So here's the coordinating die that goes with all of the candies stamp sets. It cuts all nine of the images out at the same time and adds that fun stitch detail along the outside edge. Now these are designed to adhere to the bottom of a candy. You could put them on a Hershey's Kiss or a Rolo, add them in a little treat bag and you have these fun sentiments or images. I like to use them on my card for a sentiment. So on my card, I'm using the Stars and Stripes sentiment and I did pop it up using some foam dimension. In the upper right hand corner, I decided to add a couple of stitch banners and these are from Jaded Blossom's banner die set. Glue down the light blue color first. I'll put a small scrap piece of cardstock to the left of the light blue banner before adhering that dark blue banner on top. Using the white mini star peel offs, I'll add two of them in the upper right hand corner on the banners. But I also decided to add the letters USA underneath the little gnome. And these are from the gnome die add-on set. Just glue those in place using some liquid adhesive. For a final finishing touch, I'll use a white gel pen and add a few highlights to the little girl. Putting some on her hat, 
on her nose, her feet, and also the firework. And there is my finished card. I did make a total of four cards using this design. Two of them are similar using the little girl with the red glitter wings. And then I did another two using different pattern paper in the background and I made one of the boy gnomes wearing the red USA hat. I love having the option of the boy and the girl gnome. When Jaded Blossom first released their gnome dies, they only had the boy gnomes. Now moving on to card design number five. The card sketch is from Freshly Made Sketches. This is number 535. And if you are interested in any of the sketches I use in this video, I do share all of that information on my coordinating blog post. That link is provided in the description box below, or you can simply head over to christymarcott.com. I'm using some blue and white grid paper from the background, and this is from the Petite Prince by Doodlebug. I've already stamped out the sentiment, Happy 4th of July. Cut a fishtail on the left side. And for that small strip of pattern paper in the background, it's hard to see, but it has a tone-on-tone -tone firework pattern. I'm adding a couple of Love From Lizzie peel-offs. This is the same blue holographic color in the pinstripe style, using the medium and also the narrowest width. I'll layer this piece on some dark blue cardstock and then add my card front onto a card base. For the image on the card, I'm using the pinwheel from the Kawaii Patriotic set. I stamped it on some red tone-on-tone -tone pattern paper with little hearts in the background and then used the coordinating die to cut it out. And just for a little extra detail on the image, I used some red ink and added it to the center of the pinwheel. This is the Cranberry Fizz color by Catherine Pooler. I've already put some thin foam dimension on the back side, so I'll remove the release paper and adhere it to the right side of the sentiment. And I made sure to line up the stick of the pinwheel to the very right side of the sentiment. Next, I'll add a few small stitch star die cuts, and I cut these out using Jaded Blossom's banner die set. I like how it has the two different sizes. I'll also add a small red glitter star to the center of the larger red star and a small glitter blue star in the center of the pinwheel. So there is my finished card and I did make a total of four using this design. For card design number six, I'm using a card sketch from Sugar Pea Designs. This is Sugar Sketch number 34. I have several different pattern papers. For the very background, I selected this pattern with all the different fireworks. Then I also have a couple of the petite prints using a teal grid for the very top strip. And then the larger rectangle, I have a tone-on-tone -tone white polka dot. It's white and gray. I did round the bottom two corners and I'm layering everything on some red cardstock. For the red scallop border, I used Jaded Blossom's border die set. I'll attach this teal strip to the top of the card panel. And then I can add my white and gray polka dot panel. Instead of the small polka dots that are indicated on the sketch, I'm adding a Love From Lizzie peel off. This is the pinstripe style in the red holographic color. Just wrap those ends around the back, put some ATG tape on the back of this piece and layer it on some red cardstock. Then I can put my card front onto a card base, leaving that eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. I love the colors on the pattern paper. Doodlebug always has the best patriotic collections, so I always buy several whenever they release a new one. Now I'll add a little patriotic gnome. I already have him all assembled wearing the Uncle Sam hat and holding the USA sentiment. As much as I love the little naked feet for the gnomes, I decided he needed to wear a pair of shoes. So I cut those out using a dark blue cardstock. I'll add some of the highlights using a white gel pen. And instead of the heart that's indicated on the sketch, I'll be adding a couple of stars. I have the larger one in white. I use some white shimmer cardstock and then two smaller blue stars. One will go in that upper left hand corner and one to the right of the gnome. So there is my finished card and I did make a total of four. For the other two cards, I used different pattern paper and also changed the skin tone color. 
Most of the skin tone cardstock I use for the gnomes is from P13's Skin Tone Paper Pad. For my final card design, I'll be making a slimline card. This is three and a half inches by eight and a half inches. I use a scallop rectangle die for the background, cut it out from some craft cardstock. I'll just add that piece onto my white card base. And I did zoom the camera out just a little bit so you could see the full card in the frame. I wanted to make a slimline card so I could add three of the patriotic girls all on one card. And what I really love about the little girls, they're all holding different items and they're also wearing glitter star glasses. So fun, always makes me laugh when the gnomes are wearing glasses since you can never see their eyes. The glasses die set is from Jaded Blossom. The little girl with the red hat, I did glue down using liquid adhesive. And the girl with the blue hat, I did pop up using some thin foam dimension. And the last girl wearing the white hat, I did pop up using some thicker foam dimension. I didn't add any of the foam dimension where the hats are overlapping the feet. Instead, I added liquid adhesive. That way the tip of the hat isn't lifting up. So when I was adding the final little girl, I realized the hat was laying on top of the other girl's foot. So I did go and remove that foam dimension. For a sentiment on the card, I'm adding red, white, and blue, and this is from the Stars and Stripes candy set. I already had it cut out from the previous card. I did pop it up using a thin foam square. Then I'll also add a few of these glitter stars, and they're from the inside of the sunglasses. I didn't want them to go to waste. And just for a little extra sparkle, I'll add some Love From Lizzie peel-offs. This is the mini star style in the silver holographic color, so they're super sparkly. There are three different sizes of the stars. We'll put two of them around the sentiment in the upper right hand corner, add a couple around the red glitter star, and a couple more in the lower right hand corner by the white and blue star. For a final finishing touch, I'm using a white gel pen and adding a few highlights to the girls putting some on the hat, their nose, the feet, put a couple little spots on the flag and also the USA. And there is my finished card. I love how this one turned out. This time I only made two. It was a really quick card to assemble on screen simply because I already assembled all of those gnomes off screen. This card is definitely my favorite, but do let me know which card is your favorite. And here's a close-up look at all three of the little patriotic girls. So much fun. And here's a quick recap of the 26 cards I made using Jaded Blossom's May 2022 Patriotic Release. There are so many fun new stamps and dies, and I love the Patriotic theme release. If you are interested in any of the products I use in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. Jaded Blossom is one of my favorite craft companies. They have a wonderful assortment of products, the quality is amazing, and a bonus, their stamps and dies are all made in the USA. Plus, they have the cutest gnome dies out there with all the different add-on sets. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.